We cannot deny a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident, a person registered under the Indian Act, a foreign worker under a, a, a lawful foreign work permit, study permit, whatever. We cannot refuse you entry for not complying with this nonsense. This is not a law. This is not an act. This is a mandate. There is so much red tape. It is unbelievable. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who has stood their ground, who has taken their time to write me their experience. I have a lot to say. I've been very outspoken against certain programs, policies, and procedures that the, the federal government is implementing right now at the border. And um, as of right now, um, I have been charged criminally, and I'm not allowed to speak about the case, and I've been advised to just not speak about anything at this moment in time, um, because to be honest, I don't wanna go back to jail. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Sharon, Ontario, just north of Toronto. And folks, I'm with Patrick McNulty, Patrick is, or actually was, uh, an employee of the Canadian Border Service Agency. He was terminated, and the reason for that is that um, Patrick, he wasn't on side with all the obtrusive government mandates that have been making the lives of travelers hellacious uh, these last several months. This is not a law. This is not an act. This is a mandate. There is so much red tape. It is unbelievable. Look, there's a lot of concern about, well, what information is on my passport? Your home address is not on your passport. Where you are planning to self-isolate is not on your passport. And your telephone number is not linked to your passport either. So if you stood your ground when boarding a flight, and you stood your ground at the airport and you refused to speak with public health, which yes, you can do. They cannot handcuff you. They cannot detain you. There will be no arresting you for failing to speak with public health. You can ignore them and treat them like they're invisible. If you've done that and then you receive a knock on your door, whether it's from the RCMP, a local police unit, or a local health unit in some cases, file this complaint. Use this form, okay? Submit your complaint because where was the authority to disclose your information? For speaking out, um, well, Patrick was terminated. And even worse than that, we were going to do an interview. This is a, an event Patrick's doing here tonight in Sharon. Uh, there's no recording devices allowed in, uh, no image capturing uh, devices. And essentially, Patrick, if I can just ask you, I know you're champing at the bit to talk to me, but you've been advised by your lawyers, and I understand, much like Tamara Leach, you have bail conditions which actually prohibit you from talking to media. What's that all about? Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, I really don't know how to answer that, Dave. I, uh, I don't. I, um, I have a lot to say. I've been very outspoken against certain programs, policies, and procedures that the, the federal government is implementing right now at the border. And um, as of right now, um, I have been charged criminally and I'm not allowed to speak about the case and I've been advised to just not speak about anything at this moment in time um, because to be honest, I don't want to go back to jail. <laughs> you, you know, I think this idea that here we are in Canada in 2022, it kind of looks like Orwell's 1984. We're supposed to have freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and yet there are people that are telling you you cannot talk you cannot speak about your own story i think this is banana republic stuff i would have to agree <laughs> yeah and, and i know you're walking on eggshells yeah, and believe me patrick really i'm not trying to get you into any hot water by bre breaking any bail conditions but it just seems to me that this is such a sad state of affairs i personally feel i've researched your story I think you've been wronged. I think you were doing the Canadian public a service. So it seems that in Justin Trudeau's Canada, no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, and thank you for saying so. Um, this is the first time in my life I felt genuinely tongue-tied because I don't know what I am allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say. Um, with that being said, we have taken precautions here at this private event. Um, cell phones are not allowed. No one will be recording anything. Um, there is one camera recording, but this is how we're doing it right now. And until I hear back from my lawyer on Monday, um, uh, public appearances like this, um, making my own videos, it's gonna have to stop until I know really what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say in Justin Trudeau's Canada.
Well, you know, Patrick, I'm certainly not going to press the issue. Uh, to me, you're one of the good guys for taking a righteous stance. We saw what this government did to Tamara Leach, you know, this Métis grandmother, uh, the way she was incarcerated virtually for no reason. I don't want the same to happen to you. I guess all I have to say is um, what are you, uh, without going into details, what is this event going to be uh, tonight? Are, are the people who are attending here at this bar, uh, what are they, um, what's the gist of what they're going to hear from you? Well, we'll be discussing our rights and freedoms as they pertain to the movement into and out of Canada. And that's basically it. I'm here to, to answer questions as they come up and um, really just try and calm some people down because quite a few people in here have already shared with me some of their horrifying stories of crossing the border. And um, I'd like to see it stop. Well, Patrick, when you get the green light from your lawyers, uh, let's arrange a proper interview uh, because I think your story, uh, it should be told out there. And what can I tell you, folks? Um, please Google the name Patrick McNulty. Yes, we'd love to get it from the horse's mouth, but the government won't let him do that. Law enforcement won't let him do that. I ask you, do you even recognize this country we're living in anymore? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Enough with these airports and their ridiculous restrictions. They're not meant to be biomedical public health enforcement ports. If you agree that this app is insidious and useless to stop a seasonal respiratory virus, then head over to our petition at noarrivecan.com, sign the petition, and chip in if you can to help our legal case through the registered charity called the Democracy Fund. That's noarrivecan.com.